welcome back to another design tutorial in Adobe XD and today we'll be designing parallax uh, effect animations in Adobe XD. See how cool and smooth these are and um, they're very quick to make. It'll take us less than 15 minutes to make both of these. So without further ado, let's just get started. Before we get started with the tutorial, tell me in the comments right now write in the comments which one is the best. Is it the left one, uh, the first one, or the right one, the second one? Okay, so to start off with the video, I'll just make a quick artboard, which will be, uh, you know, 1600 by 1600. Let's do that. And I'm gonna put in a mobile frame in this. So this is just an, uh, a standard iPhone frame kind of uh, thing right here. And I'll make sure that the border radius is 100. Perfect. So now, now what I'm about to do is I'm going to go to my downloads folder and I'm going to export and I'm going to import two images. One is the field. And by the way, these images are mainly taken out of unsplash.com. So go ahead and check unsplash.com. There are now two images that I've imported. Uh, so for the first image, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to use the pen tool, which can also be picked up from here on the left. And I'm just going to create an outline along these flowers uh, to cut out the top portion, which is the trees of uh, this image and also the sky as well. I don't need to do it for the entire picture, just some portion of it. And uh, once I am done with creating a stencil out of this, I'm just going to select both these images. First of all, I'm just going to duplicate this image because I want an original image to be there as well. And I'll select both of these, the stencil as well as the image. And I'll say Command Shift M or Control Shift M to mask it. Perfect. Now what I'll do is I'll just put this on top of this. Perfect. And make sure it's perfectly aligned as well. Perfect. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to I'm going to group these two selections right here and I will put it behind this phone mockup right here and I'll put it behind it and I'll select both and say command shift M again to mask it. So now we have two masks and we'll just internally shift it so that we really can't see the yellow flowers. I don't really want to see the yellow flowers in this and uh, these these lines which are leading into this one spot here in photography we call it leading lines and uh, leading lines really help to focus on one point. So what we're going to do next is use the same technique of the pen and just outline this flower and we want to basically perfectly outline this flower and once we're done with that, uh, next what we'll do is once we're done with the complete outline, I'll skip to that, we will also uh, double click on these anchor points to make these curved. So if you want to curve them out, you can just double click and then shift these, um, you know, these handles around to make sure that um, it's perfectly aligned outside the floor, just to cut out the floor. Once we have a perfect outline, as you can see, I'll just color this in to, so that you can see that we have an outline. I will just put it above the image, select the image as well as the outline and say command shift M or control shift M to mask it again. And as you can see, we have almost close to a perfect mask. Um, we will just make it much, much, much smaller, uh, as small as the flowers as you see in the background here towards the back. Uh, that, that's that's pretty OK. Yeah. And make it even smaller, actually. Mm, yeah. Don't be shy, just make it smaller. And we'll quickly make, uh, we're not gonna make any user interface right now because I'm just gonna show you the parallax effect, nothing else. And um, I, what I will do here is also just copy this, um, this iPhone screen again and I will uh, remove all the shadows and everything and I will make this completely black. Next thing I'll do is go and select this background blur option and give these the following value 5, 15, 20. Perfect. And that is going to be our blur value of the background blur. So what I'm going to do is reduce the opacity of this background to zero so that there's no blur left. 
So now what we're going to do is we just select the artboard and say Command D, Control D to duplicate this. Next thing that we need to do is make sure that the mask group 20, which is basically the flower, increases in size and will substantially increase it in size till it's, you know, half the, maybe half the width of this artboard right here. And one thing that you might notice is that the mask doesn't perfectly fit this when we increase the size of the flower. And this is a little of a problem with XZ is that sometimes the mask is not of the same size when scaled up. But that's fine, we'll just leave it to here. And what you guys can do is quickly uh, select these and you know, just make sure that it, it is refined. But for now, to quicken the process up, I'm just gonna leave it as it is. Perfect. So the next thing that we need to do is choose the rectangle 11, which is the blur rectangle, the blur at the background, and just increase the opacity so that the background is blurred and we, we can only focus on this little flower in the front. The last step that we need to do is go to the group eight, which is inside mask group 19. And this image, this flower bed image, we just need to scale up, just start scaling it up by a lot, right? Uh, we just want to make sure uh, that the flower, the center portion is in focus and nothing else can really be seen. So it gives us the effect that we're moving in with the leading lines. Now I have something which I am pretty okay with. As you can see, the flowers have come, have come pretty close. Next step that I would want to do is go to mask group 18 and just select the mask, the image inside the mask group 18. I don't want to select the entire mask itself. So I just want to increase the size of this and I want it to be slightly larger. I want it to be slightly smaller than the foreground because the foreground should seem to move faster towards us as compared to the background, which is the sky and the trees. So make it slightly smaller, not too small, and just place it uh, in accordance with the trees. So the trees should be visible and the sky is more or less now just gone, right? And as you can see, it's pretty okay. We could fix this a little more, but for now, I'm just gonna leave it like that. One thing we can do, of course, is to move the mask around a little bit, just bring it towards the bottom right here so that it masks these flowers and, you know, it doesn't seem like a separate entity altogether. I think this is pretty all right for now. So let's try, so let's prototype this. If I bring the arrow to the next ad board, as you can see, I say auto animate, tap, ease in out and 2.5 seconds should be the time. And we'll do the same for the second artboard, bring the arrow back to the first one, say ease in out. For this, I'll just say two seconds, tap and auto animate. So let's start this prototype and let's test it out. So if I click here, ooh, that is smooth. And if I just take it back, see it, as you can see, the sky is now scaling at a different pace as compared to the foreground. And that is what a parallax is all about. The next design is very similar. What I've done is I've taken two images. One is a close up of a beach uh, and one is the, you know, a drone shot of the same beach at the same place. So I think this is, uh, I'm not sure. I think this is the South Beach in Miami. I'm not very sure, but um, I'll give you all these assets in the description. I'll give the XD file, which will have all these assets in one place. And what I'm just doing here is, first of all, I increase the size of this, make this much larger. And um, what I'm gonna do is use the pen tool technique and just carve out these waves with the pen. And as you can see, I'm not, you know, using a lot of, I'm not just, I'm not focusing too much here because when the effect is happening, the user will barely be able to see anything. So some effects don't have to be pixel perfect uh, because the user sometimes just never sees those pixel imperfections and it's not the best practice. I, uh, I won't, don't quote me on that, but I think that's something that people need to learn. And as you can see, I have a duplicate of that image here and just the waves itself. So I'll align the waves uh, here with this. See, almost perfectly aligned. And I'll just group both of these. Command G or Control G to duplicate them. I'll increase the size so that they legitimately fit between here 
and uh, the the phone itself and say command shift m control shift m to basically mask it so the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm just going to bring this in and for this image i'm not really going to do much i'm just going to mask uh, i'm just going to put it behind this uh, duplicate the mask that i had so just copy this and duplicate the mask which I, we were using the the phone screen and select both the image as well as the mask and say command shift m control shift m and place it behind this beach. So this is our main beach here. So what I'm gonna do is duplicate this artboard. And in the second artboard, I will select, first of all, just the waves. And um, I will rotate the waves in such a way. No, no, no. As you can see, we have a perfect artboard here, but one thing is missing. What we want to do is, first of all, I'm just going to copy this image outside this. And as you can see, uh, I should have done this before, but never mind. And now this is a mask. So first of all, ungroup this, Command Shift G to ungroup it. I'm just going to mask group these as well. And this white portion, what I'm going to do is select both of these and the mask that we had created earlier. And I'm going to say subtract from here. So the top right, there's this icon which says subtract. I will click on it. And as you can see, now we only have this portion and not the waves at the bottom. And I'll put it right here. And I'll cut it out by saying Command X, Control X. Double click inside this group and make sure that inside this mask, which is mask 22, I say Command V and paste this subtraction. Make sure this is behind the rectangle. So behind group nine itself as well. Now that we have this, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the original image, which was North S. Just delete it out because now we have two portions, the same image. The beach, if you remove this, at the back, there'll be the cityscape. And in the front, there'll be this beach. So make sure you just perfectly align it, almost. And now we'll duplicate it. So Command D, Control D to duplicate this artboard. And in the second one, what I'm going to do is, first of all, rotate both of these. since there is some perspective change and the perspective is calling for some rotation. Rotate both of these. And what I'm going to do with this is, first of all, I'll just make sure that the waves, I'll just shrink down the waves just like this. Make sure that it's aligned with these waves. So you can push them down a little bit and make sure that it's aligned with these waves at the bottom right here. And just reduce the opacity to zero. Same thing with this, I'm just going to decrease the height, uh, not scale it down, just decreasing the height and put it right here on the beach. And this cityscape, I'm just going to increase the size, just scale it up real big, just like that. So that you know it's zoomed in, but it's not totally zoomed in as well. And I'll just rotate the sand portion a little bit more if it's needed. And also what we're going to do is just place it here and as you can see, I can barely see it anyways. Right, uh, what I can do here for an extra is reduce the opacity and just remove it completely. So we're gonna prototype it the same way as we did earlier. Shift the arrow to the second artboard, auto animate, ease in out, 2.5 seconds again. And let's try this one out as well. So if I click here, ooh, see how it just floats in and there's, there's another perspective. That was today's video. I post every Monday and Thursday. If you like my channel, subscribe to my channel by hitting that subscribe button and also click on that bell icon right next to it so that you never miss any of my videos. I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye and God bless.